Well, it's really good, you know, that our team was able to acquire this win. I thought we played, it was a great collective effort by everyone. Uh, every conference game is, is of equal importance, but especially starting out on the road, I was really pleased to get this win. I thought our entire team played with a lot of enthusiasm, um, great intensity, it was a very physical basketball game, and they came at us hard. Every time we build a lead in the first half, they come back at us hard, and often in the second half as well. I thought our kids did really good to hold on. Use a lot of kids in the game and a uh, very, very unselfish effort by the entire team. Well, it was good to see. Uh, I thought uh, Tanisha was very solid throughout the basketball game. You know, she was a rock for us and it showed up in the game today. And I thought Monique was a tremendous spark for our team. She was very scrappy, played with a lot of great defensive intensity. When she didn't get the steal, a lot of times she was creating something that would cause someone else to get the steal. And time and time again, we made it convert some of those into points for our basketball team. We played two, I thought, out of our uh, other guards, Jess Moore and Zayna Lovett. I mean, those kids played well. We got good minutes out of them. Uh, and even to uh, JP, Jessica Payne, who came into the game, and just really played smart against a lot of pressure in the late game situation. You know, she's uh, such a spark for us. Uh, the year before last, uh, when she was like our sixth player, I told her then she was good enough to start for a lot of teams in the league. And now starting for us, she still carries that energy in the game. Uh, this is her first couple shots that came back strong, continued to shoot the ball like all these shooters do, and then really got hot to help us begin to build a little bit of a lead in the first half. It was very instrumental. All those that you mentioned were, did a tremendous job. I thought, I, I think Rayshawn comes in time and time again and just gives us a, a, a spark plug off the bench. Just high energy, uh, went into the game, penetrated, scored a couple baskets, hit a three, just really played smart basketball. Um, Zayna was solid. She only played about nine minutes in the first half. Had a five points, was two for three for four. Uh, really scrappy defense as well. And then Julie, who has um, beginning to heal, still faced with a little bit of adversity with her ankle. Uh, I thought we got a great play out of her today. I was pleased with her performance at times in the East Carolina tournament, and she continues to be a strong player for us off the bench. Ashley James, good job on the boards. It was very physical inside. Um, Beads getting to play some in there. It's just a great team effort for a basketball team today. Yeah. Well, it's something that's very special to us, and uh, we think it's a good thing, not only for, for us, but uh, for Harney County, Sampson County. It's great. It's a win-win for us at Campbell University as well. We're hoping that some of these youngsters will elect to come back to more athletic events this year, and also maybe elect to come and uh, attend our, our fine university today. So we look forward to a packed house. It's always an enthusiastic day with the youngsters and a great orange and black day. It'll be a quick turnaround for us. We've got to get these kids home. Called an early bed check last night. Probably call an early bed check again on Sunday night. It'll be a quick turnaround with 11.45 start on Monday. We hope everybody will come out. There will be seats in the house for everyone. They'll find somewhere to put you. So everybody please come out and support our Lady Camels. One of our two last home games before Christmas. Very important. We came out here and we got a win. And it definitely sets the tone for the next game to come. And uh, it gives us a lot of confidence going in to Monday's game as well. But it definitely set the tone. Yeah, I was insane. She came in. She was ready. Um, I could tell in warm-up she was ready. She was excited. And uh, she came out letting it fly. Had her trigger cocked. And they were falling. And she also helped set the tone. And the first five minutes is one of the most important things of the game. And uh, that carried us through. Um, getting a lift off the bench is very important. Um, that also helps maintain the tone of the game. So that was a good thing to happen for those young kids to step up. It was great. Well, that's the beauty of chemistry. When you have good chemistry, uh, you can maintain consistency. And I think um, we're growing and we're still building chemistry. And uh, that's what helps with consistency. Uh, well, we're going to get some rest, first of all, on this drive back. And then probably Sunday have a nice walk through to kind of break down some things of what they like to do and just get focused and get ready for them. I think we'll be fine. It's actually one of, the, it's one of the most exciting games of the season just to fill up that gym and hear those kids just roar for any little thing that you do. It's a, it's good motivation when you hear those kids yelling for you. It's a great thing. Um, well, we just always got to make sure we get a little bit from our bench. Um, always have somebody to be inspired. Lately, Coach Hayden has been saying that I've been sparked off the bench and I'm just trying to help my team. Well, it's always important to start off with a win. You know, we want to know that means we're at the top, not the bottom. So that's always going to be a good thing. 
we just know we have to push the ball, you know, and keep running offense. That's why we score 70 points running the system. And we're, we're a fast team, so we just got to keep pushing.